DNR 2.0. Online at DerekandRomaine.com. This is Derek. And this is Romaine. And we have a great new episode coming up for you. And it features the lovely ladies from If These Ovaries Could Talk. Yes, we're going to be talking about their brand new book that just came out. It's very cool. And fun fact, we recently won a podcast award. And I might have mentioned in last week's episode that uh, we won three out of the last four times. And uh, who beat us that one time? <sighs> if these ovaries could talk. That's right. Oh, so they're still pretty bitter about it. Well, they're pretty great, but we're glad we vanquished them. Yes. <laughs> uh, we also talk about uh, what's coming up for Halloween because it is October. It's our spookiest month of the year. I love it. So we uh, talk about what our Halloween plans are, but we wanted to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by a brand new sponsor for us, Magic Spoon. So check them out at magicspoon.com slash DNR. From personal ads to porn stars, astrology to astimonials, it's the hottest talk of talk radio, it's the Derek and Romaine Show. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Is that a ghost cat I see behind me? <laughs> <laughs> it might be, Derek Harley. It might be. Well, it's October, the spookiest month, because I always get one year older. Or, don't get any older at all. You decide. Uh, all right, I'm definitely getting older. But uh, one of the listeners today was like, oh, I've uh, gotten uh, one of my coworkers to start listening to Derek and Romaine, and he loves Derek's dad jokes. Well, you are old like a dad, so... I just feel very attacked by that I description of myself. I just feel like, didn't we just celebrate your birthday like <laughs> a month ago? I mean, it was a lot of months ago, but I feel like as... You know, we've talked about 2020 being like the longest year of ever, but at the same time, I feel like we literally just celebrated your birthday. Well, first of all, we celebrated it in Hawaii because we yes. were on our DNR cruise in Hawaii, the high DNR cruise. Oh, that was a good cruise. That was a good cruise. I want to go back to there. Oh, when life was good. <laughs> life will be good again. Life is fine right now. Is it? I don't it will, think so. I mean, it will be better when we can go places and do things, but... I want to do some trick-or-treating because it's October. October, I want to... I wanna, October? Octo- yeah. Octo- October. Well, in some people, it probably is. Gross. I want to go uh, apple picking and pumpkin picking. I want to trick or treat for candy. I want to wear a costume. I want it all. I want to do a haunted house. Is that too much to ask? Isn't your house already haunted enough? A little bit. You've got a ghost cat in the yard. The street that you live on is haunted. We We have not determined that the street is actually haunted. Isn't it, though? I mean... Didn't they do, like, an investigative report on how haunted okay, your street is? Okay, it's not the street I live on that you're thinking of. You're thinking of a... There is a road very nearby where I live. Like, let's say less than 10 minutes away. How many minutes? 10. Uh, and it is legit haunted. Well, I know for a fact that I do not live in a haunted neighborhood. So you do. And yeah. you have a ghost cat that is Meow. sneaking around outside. Yeah. You've got a lot of haunting things going we on. We do. And my neighbor has a grave in their yard. Right. That's gross. That's weird. I well, have to ask him about it. It's old timey times. I've been meaning to ask him, but I haven't asked him yet. I want to be like, uh, what's with the headstone in your yard? Well, that is the nice thing about a grave in somebody's yard. It's kind of an evergreen question to ask about. You yeah. can bring it up at any old time. Although now feels like a really good time. But also, are they going to dig it up? Because I'm telling you right now, if there was a body in my yard, I'd be digging that up. Now, I do live... I did try. Yeah. I do live not far from Sleepy Hollow. Yes. Yeah, you're the one that lives in a haunted spooky town. uh, Ichabod Crane famously uh, went up against the Headless Horseman. And... uh, Do you believe that's a true story? No, it's not a true story. A true story. How could such a legend exist for so long in an actual place if there's not some truth to it? It's... A book. Yes. Just like Harry Potter is a book. Yes. You're a Potterhead. Aren't, uh, who lives in Potterville, do you believe that what happened in the books is a true historical record? I don't record? know that Hogwarts doesn't exist. Does it? I'm not a witch. Does it? I would love to believe that it does. Great. I'm sure it's full of magical turfs. So full of 
not happiness. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently I'm getting older. Well, so no, no, why no. should I You're be happy about getting that? Older. You're just fucking old. You know what? I'm the one you who are... isn't like, oh, I've been paid all the time. Uh, oh, I can't get out of this oh, chair. Ow. Yeah, whatever. You're way older than I am. Um, like nearly a decade. It, sure. Generationally, I'm older than you are, but not physically. I, that's because I'm fat. Okay. <laughs> like I'm out of shape. And so therefore my body feels older than it is. But it really is more I'm fat than I am old. Well, I mean, we're all in a shape. Yeah, we're my just shape not is round. in shape shape. Right, 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 right. Ship right. shape. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your big Halloween plans well, this year? I'm glad you asked, Derek, because... <laughs> it's the topic of our show today. You know, they want to cancel the Halloween, which, by the way, at first I was like, okay, that kind of makes sense. But then I saw a meme on Facebook, and it made all the sense in the world to me, and oh, I was like, this God. is stupid. So You can't have your life no, ruled by Facebook hold memes. Hold on, let me tell you what it was. So the meme was someone in their car with their hand out grabbing a to-go bag from a McDonald's. Okay. And it said, how is it safe to do this, but not safe to do this? And then the second picture was a kid with an orange bucket reaching out uh, and someone putting a piece of candy in it. And I have to say, that made sense to me. Well, I, I actually think that there is a way to do uh, trick-or-treating, or as you guys have done in New Jersey, the trunk and treat mm -hmm. where people all hang out in a parking lot and then hand out candy from the it's trunk awesome. of their car. It's as a parent, it it's the greatest thing that ever sad. happened. No, it's not. It's great. Okay. Especially if you have little, little kids with little short legs, because it's really hard to walk a bunch of little kids from house to house. Cause they have to climb all the stairs and they have to run through the lawns. And it's very hard when they're little, 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 how but, hard is it? It's so hard, but for older kids, it's stupid. But for little kids, like, I'm going to say six and under, oh, it's a dream. Okay. The trunk or treat. But in general, uh, unless your school has a Halloween carnival, which is usually inside of an auditorium or something, I can understand in Wyoming where it'll be snowing by mm -hmm. Halloween and most people will want to do like a Halloween party as uh, opposed to being out trick-or-treating. Sure. But I actually think... Since we know the transmission is lower outside than inside, it's the perfect time to wear a mask. All of the kids can go as doctors. Just well, go as a surgeon okay. and wear a mask. That's funny. You totally could. But, or even just like you've got a mask on your face. Put a mask under your mask. I mean, I agree. If you could go outside safely while wearing masks, it seems to me there is no reason why you can't safely trick or treat. And uh, obviously, if you're concerned about, you know, hands touching candy and then the candy, whatever. the Lice all you, the shit out of that yeah. shit when you get home. Or, problem solved. Or you just keep the candy for yourself to keep the kids safe. And that's OK, too. Yeah. Frankly. So I don't think that the trick or treating should have been canceled. Well, I understand we don't know not that doing, it really has. I mean, I think towns well, are dealing with it town by town. I think it's being discouraged. So I okay. like being home and passing out candy on Halloween. Yeah. I enjoy it. You know, I live in the suburbs. That's one of the parts of suburban life. Kids go door to door and you give out candy. So much easier than like in New York City where you, I guess, kids trick or treat from door to door in an apartment building. Oh, no. that sounds awful. It's sad. It does sound awful. I mean, the good news is fewer stairs if you're in an elevator. I mean, building. I guess. I Again, if think, you have little kids, it maybe isn't so bad. Here's what I would do if I lived in an apartment building in New York. I would just have all the parents, like have everyone in the building donate bags of candy to the doorman, have the doorman assemble like gift bags of equal gift bags of candy for all of the kids who lived in the building. And then when the kids want to go trick or treating, they wear their outfit, they go down, they see the doorman, Ooh. the doorman hands them a Ziploc bag of candy, and then they go back to their room. Everybody's oh. evening settled. Sounds like a lot of work for the doorman. Well, you don't get yeah. paid enough. Uh, they do get uh, tipped out at the end of the year. So, you know, you just mm -hmm. give, them, give them a little extra money. Okay. I or suppose. a parent can organize it. Yeah. And then it'll make it so much easier. Then you're not like having your doorbell rung all night, even if you don't have any candy. Here's like, what, what I a say. Mess. Skip the trick or treating all together. Just buy a big old bag of candy for your kid. It's easier for you as a parent because you don't have to worry about them. 
And your kid gets the fucking candy because that's all they really care about anyway. What are you going to do? Make Romy stand on your own front porch and ring the doorbell and then hand her candy? Yeah. All right. Now run around to the side door and knock. Yeah. We'll give you some more candy. Yeah. All right. So we're not going trick or treating, most likely, because of COVID. Stupid. But uh, I do believe that this year for Halloween, what we are going to do is go to our neighbor's house. So, you know, I have these new neighbors who bought the farm behind us at the serial killer Well, house. we know that they bought the farm because there's a grave in the yard. Yes. Anyway, they have been fixing up the farm, and they are having one of their first events at the farm. And they're going to have, like, a outdoor Halloween type event at the farm i'm sure there will be a fire pit with s'mores and some apple cider or maybe some mold wine for the parents i love how dedicated to your story that you were that you just glanced right over my dad joke i mean i try to ignore your dad jokes to the best of my ability because you're luck. so old anywho uh so our i think we're gonna go to that i think we're gonna uh S'more. support their little farm because uh, it's like 12 dollars a person to go and i think we're gonna go to the farm and just sit on a bale of hay outside. Yeah, just like, you know, drink some stuff and let Romy hang out with some other kids, maybe. I don't know. Maybe ride a horse. A horse? Yeah. Like a little miniature horse? No, they actually have horses down at the farm. I'm trying to get our new neighbor to teach Romy how to ride a horse. No, this is a bad idea. Why? Because I want her to get a job working at their farm taking care of the horses. Yeah, well, then she's going to want a fucking horse. Well, I'm not getting her a horse. We don't no. have room for a horse. So the best, next best thing is go get to know the neighbor's horses. They have to pay for them. They have to take care of them. And Romy just goes and enjoys them. Here will be Romy Pie Pants' response when you say, we don't have room for a horse. She'll say, why don't we just get rid of Mommy Romaine? Then we'll have space for a horse. Or Mommy Iris. We can get rid of her, and then we can have a horse. Where are we going to put this horse? In your room, I guess. Horses don't live in rooms. Try telling your daughter. I she have would, no problem telling I'll my daughter. I'll teach it to climb stairs. No, that's, the horses don't climb stairs, dumbass. They used to have horses that would jump off of high dives a- into a bucket of water. And then they broke their neck, and now they're dead. Well, it was not good for the horses. But they used to do that all the time. Yeah, it's stupid. Well, it was a simpler time when they didn't have television or podcasts. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> oh, I, 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 all you watch. I am. I am. I, I, I. So well, that sounds like a good plan, plan, except for the part where you want to get your daughter a horse because that's a mistake. I'm not getting my daughter a horse. Don't and even I did let not even a say girl that. smell a horse because she will just want a horse. Well, she's not getting a horse, so she can want all she wants. It doesn't matter. But you know that's how girls are. I don't care. They have weird obsessions with horses. I don't think that's true. It is true. I think you're just making things up now. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Girls love horses. (sighs) Well, anyway, that's where we're going, I think. Okay. Well... What are you doing? I think I'm very torn about the candy thing because... I want to have candy in case kids come to the door. Right. That makes sense. But I also don't want to have so much candy. That you eat it all and get fat. And then I end up with diabetes. So I got to, you know, I got to weigh these pros and cons. Because now that we're. a bag. Well, we're at home more. So there's more opportunity for snacking and less opportunity for moving. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is not a good holiday season to get into. It's not. With a house full of candy. No. But I also was thinking about, well, how can we pass out the candy uh, safely? Because part of me feels like, well, maybe I should just put like three pieces of candy in one of those mini, like a half size sandwich bag thing, you know, Ziploc bags that are like a half size Ziploc bag. And maybe I'll put like three pieces of candy in one of the, in each of those and put a bunch of those bags in a bucket out in front that just has a sign that says take one. Now, my okay, concern this is, is stupid that because kids the, are assholes and the first kid that walks up is going to dump the entire bucket into their bag and walk away. And how do I know this? Because I have witnessed it many times out trick or treating. In fact, I remember one year I had to yell at a bunch of kids for being a little assholes and doing exactly that. Well, the good news is I have a uh, I have a glass front door so I can stand in the glass front door. Like a creeper? Like a like a fucking yes. scarecrow? And like maybe I'll have like a mallet in my hand. I'll be ah! like, 
take one only. And then if the kids try to take more than one. Because that's not at all fucking creepy and scary, you weirdo. Well, what else am I supposed to do to keep these hooligans from stealing all of our candy? I don't know, because they're totally going to do it. Here's what you do. You get the shitty candy. You get the candy. No. Like if you're gonna leave a bu- no. If you're oh, gonna leave you. a bucket of candy out and just say take one, it's got to be the shitties that shit. Because if you put the good candy out there, those kids are legit gonna steal it all. Would you steal it all? Yes, yes, you would. Don't even pretend like you wouldn't, because we all know the truth. I only believe in high quality name brand premium candy at halloween i mean i kids do too have it. Kids i have feel it like tough. i feel like it should be the good shit but you gotta get like the little chiclet packets or something horrible if you're gonna put it out in the bowl for kids to take do you remember those little chiclet packets they had like mm-hmm. four little chiclets in it yeah Oh, man, they were the days. I well, hated those fucking things. They were so gross. I guess the only other alternative is... <sighs> no trick-or-treating. No, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, maybe w- here's what I'll do. I'll make some pre-made bags of candy. I don't understand this idea of pre-made bags of candies. Well, so it just it has saving? three pieces but in what each is bag. It, what is it protecting them from? No, so it's easier for them to just grab a bag and go. A grab-and-go bag. Versus you just grabbing a handful and dropping it in their bag? Yeah. I don't... Anyway, uh, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to put them in my mailbox, which looks like a fancy lady's handbag. I'm going to put the bags in my mailbox. Then when kids ring the doorbell without opening the door because it's glass, I will tell them, grab a bag of candy out of the mailbox. So then I'll be standing there so they will know where, well, except, oh, that doesn't really work for the little kids because they will not be able to reach it. It's too this high. This is the dumbest shit, Derek. I'm trying to work it out where it can You're be safe gonna. and effective no. and no. limit my exposure to children who are just little vectors of disease. Yes, they are. They're horrible. Oh, God. Your ideas are ridiculous. I'm just trying. I'm trying to do my part. Are you going to wear your Boy Scout uniform again this year? No, I think I might have aged out of that. Also, it might look really creepy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I probably won't wear any costume at all. I'll wear a hat. Uh, It'll be a Say Something hat Halloween. I'll just wear a hat and a mask. I can't. Don't shake your head at me. It's too late. We all so ridiculous. Yeah, well, we all have to get creative now because this is the world we live in. So... Don't at me. Too late. Well, whatever you're planning to do for Halloween, we hope you have a safe and happy, spooky October season. We do. We do. Yes. Uh, And coming up next, we've got more fun to come. Stay tuned to find out what it might be. No, no. You're welcome. PNR 2.0. 2.0. Okay, Derek. So the other day, a box arrived at my house, and uh, it was something that I had received. I had I'd got it, gone, ordered it. And um, the second it arrived, my wife lost her mind because on the side of it, it said uh, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, GMO free. And she's like, What's inside this box? I want to know now because, you know, she's a health nut. And I said, Well, you know, I love cereal and I eat it all the time time but my doctor told me i had to cut way back on my sugar so i had to come up with an alternative and i found it magic spoon that's right you can go to magicspoon.com slash dnr and check out all the great flavors that they have including cocoa fruity frosted and blueberry. So do you have a favorite? Uh, I do. I'm fruity because I'm fruity. Of course you are. I really like the cocoa one because I like chocolate. So for me, it hits all the magic places that just make my taste buds go yummy. Yeah, it's uh, perfect for people who love cereal. They have great memories growing up with cereal. Uh, but you also want something uh, that uh, is uh, lower in carb, uh, keto friendly that you could be eating. Uh, plus, Not just for breakfast, but anytime you need a snack, something in the afternoon, you just want to grab a handful of something. Well, and breakfast is a big deal at my house. We wake up. It's the first thing we do as a family. And now with something like Magic Spoon, I can actually introduce my daughter to healthy cereal that still tastes like, you know, all that sugar loaded stuff. And she doesn't know the difference. It's amazing. 
That's right. So check it out for yourself. It's so easy. Just go to magicspoon.com slash DNR and grab a variety pack and try it today. Be sure to use our promo code DNR at checkout to get free shipping on your order. That's magicspoon.com slash DNR and use promo code DNR at checkout to get free shipping. Yeah, we want to thank Magic Spoon for sponsoring this podcast. DNR 2.0. 2.0. Uh, Derek here along with Romaine, and we are joined in studio by Robin and Jamie. You know them, of course, as the hosts of If These Ovaries Could Talk, the popular podcast available everywhere and also on our MetaPlayer. And uh, they have a new book uh, out. It is If These Ovaries Could Talk, The Things We've Learned About Making an LGBTQ Family. Uh, it came out. Or will be coming out. I don't know when this airing. It's coming. This will, will be, it already will have come out by the time this airs <laughs> on <laughs> September twenty second. No surprise that I think this is airing in October. <laughs> I knock wood. We'll all still be around. Will we? I mm. honestly. Who I can don't say? Know. The point is, we're thrilled to have the two of you here. We haven't seen you in months. It's great to catch up. Oh my God, we're thrilled to be it's here. It's so fun to be here. It's too fun to be here because we've been stuck inside with our children for the past. I feel like seven years. Yes, thank you. I was trying to think of a large number and I couldn't even think of a large number. <laughs> She's lost numbers. <laughs> I assume it feels long. It feels so long. No, I don't have any children, so I've been enjoying myself oh, uh, during all of this. Whatever you He doesn't hate. understand. Oh. No. You don't know. You don't get it until you're there. Like you just don't get it. Well, but that's okay. You don't have to get it. You just live that. You just live that life. You just live that good life with your walkout basement. You yeah. son of a bitch. The life choice I made is to sleep late and <laughs> eat whatever I want. That's a so, good life choice. But I'm not you know, sure as ice cream. You know, it's um, a selfish life choice, but whatever. It's the one I've made. I I don't think that's selfish. Not at all. Like it's smart, is what I think. Yeah. It's self care, is what I call that's it. What, By the way, I love a- that I can't see Romaine through the 14 shower curtains. <laughs> You're welcome. Just like a haze of Romaine in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm around. That's why I took this seat I know, so I could I see them both. I can. I have like a hazy outline of Romaine. <laughs> I'm here. I promise. Our studio is literally like safe sex in the 80s. Now <laughs> there, really there is, is so there are so many dental dams between us. <laughs> You hardly, is there even a vagina on the other side? We don't even know. (laughs) Am I touching you? Is that you? Maybe. Can you feel me? Hello? Hello? I think it feels great. Oh, Oh my God. Oh, my God. I know. It's as romantic as a telegram. Yes. Oh, my God, my face hurts. This is how this is going to go. Yeah, it is. Well, this is what happens when you haven't come to see us in a while. Yeah, that's right. I know. We miss you guys. We've been in here in the studios without you. I know, I know. We a little bit act like it's ours You watch us, though. You like watch. (laughs) Every (laughs) once in a while, I tune in just to see what kind of dances you're doing or to see if Jamie's feet are up on the desk or, you know, the things I see. She's (laughs) the look on your face like, oh, shit, she really does see us. on the desk? No, I always Yes, they were on the desk. (laughs) Don't think I don't see I see y'all. I know I always, all. I always say to Robin, because oh, I, I drink a coffee when I come here, and I'm yeah. like, I bet she's watching. She's like, that bitch is going to pay for this coffee. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I took all the soy milk, and Romaine's going to be pissed. I get opened back up in. a soy milk or an almond milk. I did. Oh, I no. Did. It's honestly, it's fine. Actually, and Derek's you know, probably like, thank God somebody's opening right, it some, up. And somebody's got to drink the coffee. <laughs> also, you know, we have in the, you know, there's like the separate, the pods that are in the uh-huh. separate uh-huh. airtight container. Yeah. Are you using that coffee? I've, I'm not sure which one I used. That's use that one. That's good the good coffee. coffee. Oh, good to know. That's like the, that's the Kona coffee. Oh. And it's the good coffee. Well, now like, I can't believe you just told us use. about it. I, I know. know. So, so, he's generous and kind. I also like eat, uh, you don't, I don't think you have them anymore, but you always had like chocolates. Uh-huh. You, were into the, yeah, you don't have any marks. You <laughs> ate them all, Jamie. Uh, some, Jamie and the mouse. <laughs> yeah. So let me so, tell you when Halloween and Christmas roll around yeah. again. Because a lot of the candy was <laughs> mm-hmm. sent to us by listeners. Yeah. Oh. And I'm just going to give you a, you guys have a very successful podcast. And I'm just <laughs> do going, we? And I'm do? just going to give do? you a pro tip for you with your listeners. Feel free to give our mailing address here to have them generously send gifts to you. Because, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't it's like nice. this. I generally Ooh. don't like the gifts, but we do have an Amazon wish list because there is energy out there of people want to just give want back to, to us. Uh-huh. So I would rather mm-hmm. direct it into our Amazon wish list, but definitely Ooh. come Halloween and Christmas, people just send us bags of candy. Oh, that's so, amazing. Yeah, so it just goes out. Oh, I, I, right. I wonder if I could set up like a babysit my kids again. <laughs> God, wouldn't that be nice? Credits, oh, credits for sitter.com. Oh but just keep God. in mind, if you tell the listeners, oh, you know what I love? Kit Kats. 
Oh. You are going to have so many Kit Kats mm-hmm. exploding through your dental mm-hmm. dam. Really? You will not yeah. even know <laughs> what to do. It's true. The dental dam will burst. I do like yeah, a good Kit Kat. I, I think I can taste Kit Kat. Am I touching it? <laughs> <laughs> Just take the wrapper off first. Like... Oh, don't, let's not be too safe about these things. <laughs> I, I've never, I don't think I've ever had a conversation that used dental dam this many times. I know. Let's see how many times, where's the bell? <laughs> ding, ding, <laughs> dental dam. It's because your show is about like something happening in the vagina, not preventing things, things from happening in the vagina. Things going out versus yes. going out coming, coming yes. in. It's true. Yes. 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 true. So that's why. Yeah, we don't yeah. talk about the fun stuff. We just talk about I mean, the, like, the business part. Making the babies is kind of fun. Well, I mean, it can what, be like, pretty fun. It can be fun. Look yeah. at me. I've got an appointment at RMA. <laughs> what is this one? I'm going to pay a copay. Oh, oh yeah. Making a, making a baby. I will say, making a baby at home versus making a baby in the doctor's office are two very, very different, different experiences. Very different. But I've heard some horrific experiences at home, too, from some yes. interviews we've done. Oh, some, a couple I, of crazy. lesbians that accidentally got sperm in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh-huh. That's how this works. Yeah. I know lesbians don't have a lot of experience. And there was a lot of, there was like oh, a lot of, it has a bad yeah. smell. It has yeah. a bad oh, smell. God, there was a I, lot of, oh, that's giving uh, me like the heat. She blew Jesus. on it. She blew on it. I'm like, I'm the, she tried to use a real turkey baster, right, Jamie? No, yeah. she, she, she blew, blew on, on it, it and then it, wasn't, it shot up in her mouth. Was, no, because it wasn't working. So she took the thing, the end oh, no. off and tried to blow it in. And shot oh, right no. in her mouth. Oh, shot. God, that's horrible. <laughs> because it was like donated fresh sperm from like a friend that the partner was oh. like, but put it back in, put it back in, put it back in. Oh, my God. God, so that's, that's uh, turned into a okay. weird, gross I'm porno. So, I feel Real so fast. awkward now. Uh, I didn't expect that from but this interview. Uh, well, we've heard some pretty interesting stories. We really yeah, have. Heard, yeah, truth. I can imagine. And yeah, this is why your podcast is so popular. I yes, mean, they're yeah. not all that juicy, though. I said juicy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you another bell for that Gentle one. Gentle damn. <laughs> Ding. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, uh, Ramin might be making a face at me, but she's through seventeen showers. You can't tell, so, so it's okay. I know. Man. It's all right. I know. It's like uh, the, the view <laughs> HD filter when they first no, had it. Like yeah. Barbara Walters yeah. filter. Yeah. Yeah. Like Barbara Walters is in there somewhere. What yeah. happened to her? Where is she? She's, well, she's like old and dying. Yeah, yeah, she's 800. Done. Yeah, she's not. She's apparently she's not, not doing, doing so well. Oh. That's why she declined all of the like New Year's Eve things. Oh. Because she's apparently like not doing oh, well. I mean, she was sad. old a million years ago, so I mean, hello. Yeah. Not yeah. surprised. She's had a good run. Yeah. Yeah. She, oh, sorry, too soon? She, she, I think she bad. adopted. Didn't she adopt? She adopted. She did, yeah. Mm-hmm. She did. Her mm-hmm. daughter she Jackie. Fits in. She, fits, she fits the mold. Well, you the can, she doesn't even need a filter to be on our podcast. Let's go after her, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, yeah after, why not? We go after her. We'll come else. to her house. She, you guys have a very good success rate. You guys, like, just... Go after people you want, and they say no yes. Shame, yeah. We couldn't believe uh, we couldn't believe when Rosie said yes. That yeah. was that was like wait, 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 wait. She, said, like, yes. she said yes. She said yes. <laughs> and you should have well, seen we us. Got, we were like in a room together. We got a call because we got her person. Like we went through like five people, and then we got her person. And we were in the room together, and we took the call. And her person is like this wonderful woman, but who <laughs> talks her. a little bit like she's been smoking since she was six. So she was just like, yeah, we love the pitch. We're getting a lot of podcast pitches. We're gonna get a lot of podcast pitches. <laughs> but like yours is my favorite. So I'll, I'll be back in touch. She's real busy right now. And I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then she called back and said yes. And then we went to her house. And you oh. should have seen us after the interview <laughs> on the subway. <laughs> just like idiots. <laughs> we just both couldn't stop laughing like yeah. this uncontrolled the girl sitting next to Robin like kind of moved away from her because we were acting so weird because we, we just kept staring at each other and like right. laughing well, and then I, I broke all the New York rules and I, t- I started talking to her I was like sorry we just had a really big thing just happened we're no, so no you said we just interviewed Rosie <laughs> I did didn't I and the lady just and the lady just goes <laughs> she just nodded at me yeah. and then just like slid a little further. No. Yeah, it really, in New York, I know we have all these signs up that say, if you see something, say something. No. But most of the time, our motto is, mind don't your own business. Yeah. I don't I don't need to hear it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Keep it your is. eyes closed. Our motto yeah. is, shh. Yeah. 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 This don't is say a li- anything. New York City is a library. Please keep it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While you're being super weird <laughs> and shooting up. Yeah. Well, I mean, people are weird. Like, New York... It's a big, crowded, diverse place. And yes. so there's going to be a high percentage of just weird mm-hmm. that happens here because there's so many different people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's a high tolerance for weird here because people mm-hmm. are just like, well, you think that's weird. Because this is the thing about New York. Like, Romaine has, like, a horror story about uh, somebody on a subway. But the nice thing about New York is if you tell a horror story about something that happened in New York, like, oh, I saw this happening, blah, 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 blah. 
somebody else will have their own Shonda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. oh no, if you like that one, wait yeah. till you hear what happened to me at Christie's. Yeah, they like, can't shock anyone. No, no. You can't. they it's just impossible. keep coming. They just yeah. keep right. They're like, oh, wow. Well, that's like what happened to me. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, welcome to New York. Yeah. <laughs> so it is a, it's a great democratic experience here. Like yes. everyone is having the same experience no matter who they are. Yes. So uh, it's kind of wonderful. So we were just two of the weirdos on the subway yeah. for that moment. That's all. Yeah. Now, no did, the, did the Rosie interview make it into your new book? No, because oh. you were working on it before before yeah. you interviewed her. Yeah, yeah. She was if, just past the cutoff. Yeah, if we write a new one, she'll be first. She'll, she'll be, be the whole right, book. It'll be a speech. picture of her. No, just, <laughs> just, just a transcript of our interview with Rosie. <laughs> nice. That'll be the book. Yeah. But you know who did make it uh, uh, into the no, book? Geez. Was it was it Derek? I wish. No, it was not Derek. It was uh, me. Yeah, I'm in the book. It was you. You have some really great parts in the book. You really do. That's... I might have flipped through the book uh, just to find where I was at. I was of like, oh yeah, that is a good story. Oh yeah, yeah. You're feisty in the book. You're it's feisty. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like real life. And you don't always have the same uh, opinion as, as, like, you know, like you're kind of. She has the dissenting opinion. Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I that's do. really great. And, and we were so happy to have the, that, those to put into the book, too, because, you know, we're, all, we're not all, all the same. Kids obviously. can't all be like, you know, sunshine and lollipops. Mm-hmm. No. But also, no. like, I love that you are so just like, this is how I feel. Like, yeah. I don't, you I don't didn't want to know donor. Like, care. fuck you. I, maybe I'm selfish. Maybe I'm this. Maybe I'm, this is what I feel. And I think a lot of people want to look good. And yeah. I, yeah. I love that you were just I, like, I don't, evidently real. I don't want to look good, Derek. <laughs> I'm aware. I've known you for a long time. This is not new information. For but you. you really were the first person to say to us in an interview, and that was, what, what season was it when you came season in? Two, like, season two. Really? I was what the first one that said that? To say that I don't want to know the donor, I don't want the donor to have anything, I don't want her to know the donor. Yeah. Um, you were the first person. I think wow. I might have heard maybe one or two other people since say then, that. Since then, but that's since. not it. But wow, no. that is interesting. And so that's why I think it's it's just you have different opinions than yeah. a lot of people in the book, and that I, was nice. You know, it is possible that Romaine's opinion has changed, because now that her daughter is a teenager and horrible, her away. she might actually want to <laughs> take out the daughter just to go, why? Why have you done this to me? Yeah. <laughs> just take her for two weeks. <laughs> just take two weeks. We all do that, though. We all look at the kid when they do something shitty and say, oh, that's the donor. That's all the Oh, donor. 100% of the time. <laughs> Although, the sad thing is that Iris, my wife, is like no honey that's, that's you, you. <laughs> no i was li- I, that's so i was literally walking i was talking to my mom on my way here uh, uh, on my walk and i was telling her how shitty my kids are right now like just i have a two-year-old who's just a jerk and i have a six-year-old who's also a jerk <laughs> and I was, t- I was complaining to my mom about how hard it is and I, and i'm thinking in my head it, i wonder if the donor was a jerk I, the donor's a jerk like you really just i was like it must be the donor they both have it the the, the, the it's the donor the donor's a jerk in my head, I didn't say it out loud. Yeah, right? but now I just said that out loud. Sure. Now you just said it on our broadcast. Yeah, that's it's on the record. To, and you do know. you actually think the donor is a jerk? No, I <laughs> think. I mean, he better be a great guy. I don't know. I don't know. How Who could knows? you ever know? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. And that's the beauty. Of I have to be honest, though. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed in my donor because my donor was like this 4.0 super <laughs> smart guy, and then I've got this kid who's like lazy, doesn't care about <laughs> yeah, school, what is that like? forgets to turn in her homework. Fuck is that? A, like, does it? Just doesn't turn it in. Yeah. I don't even understand. And that's not like you. You're you're type yeah, A, right? Yeah. What? No. What type am I, Derek? Type lazy. That's type O. I, I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, I then, just, oh no! What happened? I yeah. just assumed she was the Google Doc lady. Oh no! What no. happened? No, no. I'm, I'm, I, I have Post-it notes <laughs> literally okay, everywhere. So you're like me, yeah, I get it. Because <laughs> if I don't, I my life is a mess. And yes. even then, you, she might as well write the Post-it note and then promptly put it <laughs> and in then the trash. burn it. Because That's not after, true. No, I listened to an old show, like first season of our show. <laughs> I was going through and like we had Sometime. like a best that was playing. And Romaine's like, I, this is a great idea. I'm going to put this on a post-it note. And by the way, it was like three years later. Can I, like, I did not remember this, and it never happened. Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> yes, please. Sometimes I tell people I'm going to put it on a post-it note to try to be nice, and then I don't actually It was it a genuinely them. good idea. Uh-oh. I think it did end up on a post-it note, and I think you just lost it. I mean, it could have. Yeah, when Robin that doesn't happens. like my ideas, she says, Robin mouth. knows me so well that when she doesn't like my ideas, she says, yeah, yeah, put that in a, make a Google Doc. Put it in a Google Doc. She, <gasps> she knows I won't do it. <laughs> I'm on 
to you. I know. It's not that. Yeah, I'm like, put I'm it like, in a dock. Make a dock. It's like, make a dock. No, I, I can't prioritize it. But if you feel so strongly about it, I support it. That's sure. how I feel. If I don't agree with it, I, I'm absolutely like, I don't like it. God, yeah, who well, does that remind me of? You got to love partnership. Yeah. I feel like that's a Derek type of thing to do. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm waiting for you to have ideas. Oh. Sure. <laughs> This marriage is on the rocks, obviously. Wait, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, like, I think that just goes like with a the COVID program. breakup happening right here. Oh my god, Woo. it's hard. No, actually, we, we, we might be looking we, for a new co-host soon. No, we do have good ideas here. It's just yeah. everything. It's the implementation always takes too long for me. Yeah, like we have. It's not that we don't have good ideas. We have great ideas. It just takes forever for them to actually come to fruition. <laughs> well, there's also four million things to be done too. Yeah. It's like you, you gotta. You know, sometimes you gotta prioritize. You can only get ending. to so much. Right? It's like it's there's so ending. much. Never ending. We just made some dumb video for something today, and we, I was so proud of us. We like, <laughs> banged out a script. We shot it. Meanwhile, like, I used my six year old as my cameraman. Yeah. And and I was like, no, you have to follow me. Follow me. I was like I'm yelling going at my way. wife, too. I was like, baby. I was like, this is a walk and talk. I need you to back up faster as you're filming. It's like I'm literally right. like screaming. But we get um, it done. We turn it in. And the publicist was like, hey, I asked this other place. They want a video, too. And I was like, can we, can use, we the use the same, same one? one? She's like, oh, no. <laughs> so now I was like, we got to make another video. I'm making, I'm making these videos while my wife is at work. And I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old literally crawling on me. But we did it. So, so I'm proud of us. now we have to make us. another video. Now we have to nice. do it again. But my my t- my six year old is becoming a very good cameraman <laughs> for a jerk. She really, for a jerk. <laughs> she really is. I thought that was Ann shooting it. Well done. Yeah, that was Rose. Well, no, one of them was Ann. I caught her before she went to work. She was like, "What? what when do you want me to press play, babe? When when am I doing this?" Like, okay, I'll use Rose. <laughs> Say, my yes. The only thing to worry about with a six-year-old is a low angle because you know they're not tall. Oh, yeah. But otherwise, sure, yeah. they can run a camera. Yeah, it doesn't bother me as much because I'm pretty short. But I guess that I could see that being a problem for you, Derek. I, I said I to Mary, the only thing she shot this one angle, and my I had a piece of hair that was like sticking out of my glasses, and I was like, babe, I was like, did you, you didn't think of the hair? She was like, I'm on camera. I, she was like, I can't also do hair and makeup. I was like, well, listen, this is a low-budget indie flick. I'm like, you better do all the roles. Oh, it's just so fun. Good times. Yeah, this wow. is this is exactly what Romaine has with Iris. Because if Romaine asked yep. Iris to do this kind of thing, Iris would say, well, I only had one job, and it was running the camera. If you wanted more, you should have asked for more. I think right? it's and implied that, like, that if my hair is sticking <laughs> out, you're going to tell me. I think that's implied. I think it could go well with the video, though, because we that's are fine. a hot mess. So I mean, it's, and you may not notice it. You're going to notice mean, it sticking I mean, right out. I don't know. But we did it, and I'm proud of us. So we don't got to get on that well, second one. Well, I'm proud of you guys for writing this book. I can't believe we did that. And that's a whole nother <laughs> thing that I can't believe it actually happened. But most, for the most part, with this entire relationship and this whole podcast and everything that's happening, for the most part, I can't believe any of it is actually happening either. And I can. Yeah. Because exactly. I'm like, this is what I do. So I'm like, of course. I'm like, of course we're doing it. Like, yeah. So things mm-hmm. keep happening, and it's great. But yeah, it's coming out, which we or it came out, depending on when. I don't know when is it. It's an came illusion. Out. I don't know. Now it already has come out, and it's a bestseller. It and, is. and we're on thrilled. Oprah right now. Yes. <laughs> now you guys do a podcast, and this book is based on the podcast. Yes. But I don't know if I'm even allowed to ask this. Is there going to be an audio version of the book? Yes. 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 Yeah. And but it won't be clips from the podcast. It'll just it'll we actually re- be you reading it. It's yes. us. Yeah, it's us reading it. I know that. I knew that you, you were doing this yes. because I watched you with your feet up on the desk <laughs> in our studios while you were. I never had my feet on the desk. With my no, you did. The cups. You actually were my... hard at work. Oh, oh no, you looked very professional. It's this Jamie that you have to watch <laughs> out for. I don't put my feet. My feet don't even reach the desk. I don't even know. Uh, I believe. Would you, you like me to find no, the video? No, out? I believe you. I believe you. Because don't think for a second I don't do screen grabs of things I find oh interesting. God. Ask Derek about the time he looked like he was dead on the sofa over oh, there. That recently came up in my um, <laughs> like memories from last year of me after I assembled the couch and I was like, I'm just going to lay on this now. And mm-hmm. Romaine did take a oh, screen oh, grab on that. Put, put it me like, right. here's Derek loafing at work after I assembled the couch. Oh, that Derek, he's so, so lazy. So lazy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I thought you were going to um, say something to us about we were doing like a full-fledged photo shoot out there <laughs> and I, like with the book and I thought you were gonna like okay. say something about that. I mean, we no, were no. like all over. Like, how about this? Like, dancing. I have seen some dancing. very interesting things on our security camera. Oh, I oh. can only imagine. Oh, you can't. Oh. Have you seen some hanky panky? I have seen nudity. <sighs> yes, I have. I have watched uh, one of our show hosts getting slathered up with um, lube. <gasps> 
What? All over his body. It was disgusting. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I have seen some things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I definitely. Okay. That's fun. My favorite my thing. Own. We're not ever going to do that. Just so you know. I will <laughs> tell you my that. favorite thing I ever saw was it like. 11 or 12, maybe it was one in the morning. I can't remember. It was really late at night. And all of a sudden, the security thing pops up. And I'm like, who's in our studio at this time of night? I tune in. And it's Katie K. Kate, our producer. And she has wandered in. She's clearly drunk. <laughs> and she's <laughs> attempting to open a bag of chips because oh, she's got the, no. the snackies. Because she's, you know. Mm-hmm. She, but she had left something in the studio that she had to pick up on her way home. And so you, she's like waddling around <laughs> drunk, <laughs> trying to open up all the snacks. Finally, she just starts shoving them in her bag. And then she walks away. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, I love that. Oh, yeah, that's so, amazing. She recorded it. Yeah, so don't worry about taking candy, I guess. It's a message <laughs> that we're leaving you with here because at least you're not like drunk wandering in and <laughs> filling your purse with chips exactly yeah we exactly. haven't done that yet not yet not well, yet there's still time we're the Don't ones that come anything. in at like 7 30 in the morning we're like ding ding because <laughs> we're up and we she want to get record away from our an children. audiobook let's do it it's seven <laughs> see you there <laughs> too early so yeah we wrote a book yeah, it happened. Well, we are proud of you. Thanks. And if our listeners would like to check it out, the name of that book, of course, is If These Ovaries Could Talk, The Things We've Learned About Making an LGBTQ Family. Look, I got all the words. I know. It's it it out now. We're so glad you guys dropped by Thank to you. talk Thank to us you. about it and catch Thank up. You. Thank you. Thanks I for having I do feel like us. I have to say, I do love my kids because I really did talk to Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you so much. In case they listen to this at some point in the future, like yes. when they're 18 and yeah. they're like, I wonder what mom used to do for a living. Let me go through. Because I think about that because there's such a yeah. horror show of Romaine complaining about Romy. Oh, and God. she is a narcissist, not unlike certain other people. And uh, so she will want to like hear yeah. every time she was mentioned from Romaine's horrible, like I'm miserable being pregnant to, uh, yeah. you know, the baby That's, is yeah. mean to me and doesn't love me, whatever, and going on and on and on. So, yeah, it's just like pepper it every once in a while with, and my child is beautiful. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I appreciate that. I really love them. I love mm-hmm. them. I love them a lot. You just end every sentence with, but they're smart. <laughs> they're, they're they are. Good Mine is usually, like, but they're good kids. Yeah. They're good kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's my. Oh, but they're good. But I, but I love they them. They mean well. I mean, you know, oh, they mostly. hug me. Yeah. <laughs> Maxine Googled Googled me and found essays that I had written. And she was like, so you talked about me and you said nice things. You said some things about Henry. And I was like, shh. <laughs> Oops. I was like, I want to go back and check and see what I said. I don't know. You got to watch he, it. But, you know, he's a good kid. <laughs> That's all there that matters. You go. It is always a balancing act, I have to imagine, for pe- parents who are in the public eye of like, well, you want to tell these stories because you want to like – let off the steam and everything but the other thing is it's not like you told it at a party and then it's gone forever like yeah. it lives on yeah, uh, to come back to haunt you didn't think about that when I we know. started this podcast like an old racist yearbook like it's just waiting <laughs> in the wings to pop back up at you so yes anyway I'm so glad you love your kids <laughs> Romaine also loves her daughter mostly yeah mm-hmm. mostly <laughs> we all love our kids and we um, love these dental dams. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. It's keeping us all safe. Yes. <laughs> From whatever. All right. Uh, thanks so much uh, for being with us, uh, Robin and Jamie. And the book is If These Ovaries Could Talk, The Things We've Learned About Making an LGBTQ Family. It's available everywhere fine books are sold. And, of course, their podcast is also called If These Ovaries Could Talk. You can subscribe to it anywhere you get your podcast. You can also hear it uh, streaming on our MetaPlayer uh, and uh, you can enjoy it there, too. So their website is ovariestalk.com. They are Ovaries Talk on Twitter and Instagram. And If These Ovaries Could Talk on Facebook. Correct. All right. Correct. Thanks for being yeah, with thank us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having us. Anytime. Enjoy the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> DNR 2.0. Online at DerekandRomaine.com. This is Derek. And Romaine. Ready to return to how things were? Well, here we are. Subscribe now at dnrstudios.com to hear us live every weekday, just like the good old days. You can use discount code LOVE for a free trial at dnrstudios.com. You can listen live or download us anytime in your favorite podcast app. We're better than ever, so stop missing out and sign up now at dnrstudios.com. You know you miss us. DNR 2.0.